Hi guys, so welcome back to another video. This time, something a little bit different. My 1976 classic mini Clubman. So, um, I'll start with just giving you a bit of a background on minis. Um, I've sort of had them since I was 17. Love classic cars and absolutely just love minis. Just there's so much about them. I don't know. I had two in the UK, restored one from um, a rotten out floor. I had a little 998cc engine in it, um, bought that, got a new engine, bought that out to 1380cc, straight cut drop gears, had that lovely wine, um, and chucked that in it. And then I had, ended up having a mini coupe after that, which was a 1275 Metro Turbo GTA engine in it. And that thing was a beast but unfortunately the engine on that it was brand new built but the guy who'd set it up it got it over fueled so during its running in stage it basically all washed the cylinders and they were like mirrors so it used to smoke a lot it needed a rebuild um, and now obviously I was in a couple of mini clubs as well back in the back in the day so I sort of was exposed to quite a lot of them um, and then moving here, knowing there's no salt and rubbish on the roads, it was, I was like, I couldn't believe they had minis from the 70s that were completely, not completely rush free, but <laughs> compared to the ones in the UK, it was pretty bloody rush free, you know. Um, so this one's mine, I've had this for a couple of years now. Um, it's pretty standard, got heaps of plans for it, but just like everything there's always something else that comes along um, so what I wanted to do with this video is just give you a bit of a bit of a buyer's guide just some hints and tips on what to look for if you're thinking about purchasing a year classic mini so I'll just show you around and then I'll show you the bits that you want to look out for right guys so one of the first things you want to look out for on one of these classic minis is rust even in WA or Australia at all, you still want to be keeping out, keeping an eye out for the rust. So, if I was recommending anyone who was looking at buying one, I wouldn't be too concerned about the engine. They're pretty basic, pretty robust. There's a few things to look out for on them. We'll get to the engine shortly, but the rust is the major one. That is the one where it all, yeah. If there's holes everywhere, it's an absolute nightmare. It costs you a fortune. So let's just go over some of the key areas on the Mini you want to look out for. First one being the sills. So these, they've got an outer sill and an inner sill. And these rush through. Um, what you want to check is that under here, it's all solid. And what you want to watch for is when they did patch repairs on, this, on these sills, a lot of people used to put over sills on. And I'll show you in a sec, but under here there's like these little square vents. And the oversills used to cover them up and used to trap moisture and rot all the way through and it used to spread into the floor pan. Um, so what you want to make sure is that they've got the original sills on which are half cut. I'll show you that. Right, so as we were saying about the sills. These are your original sills. You can see the original, you see where they finish here and they've got these squares to vent and that's open. You can see there from the back. The crappy oversills that they put on is a patch job finish down here and they're seam welded and you can tell they've got this box is solid. It's all formed as one and it basically rots all the way through. You also want to pay 
close attention to this heel board, the back of here. We'll show you that from inside. The next one you want to keep an eye on is your doors. The bottom of the doors rust all the way along here. They're really bad for it. The door skins, you'll notice if you've got any bubbling on your door skin. And you check under the bottom, underneath here. Like I was saying about the bottoms of your doors, you can see on this one, mine's had some patch repairs in the past. You can see along here, it's had some plates patched in. But generally, overall, it's really good. I lived with a Mini for a long time in the UK, then the door skin was separate from the actual bottom of the door sill. This one is a really solid Mini. This was really good. So we talked about the over sills. Um, and then you've got, so that's your outer sill, then you've got your inner sill. So you want to be um, checking that. I'll show you that now. So now we've covered the outer sill. You want to look at the inner sill. And what I would recommend is just pull the flooring back. This one's got a bit of insulation and in. I think they put a bit of underlay in it. You'll have these holes as well. You want to make sure they're open. They let, through, let out any moisture and water it doesn't get trapped in here. The floor plan on this floor pan on this one is really solid. You want to pay close attention to this as a structural member, this box section that runs along all the way along between both seats. Pay close attention to that. This one, same again, like this is solid all the way along. And this is your inner sill, these can tend to go. That one's solid. See, so you want to check, check the floor pan and the heel boards, the footboards at the front here. Check all of them. See, that's all solid. All the inner sill. And I'll show you this heel board on the back seat, if you can as well to take the, pull the carpet back. You wanna pull all this back and you wanna really start poking around here, around the rear seat belt bin. But this is the, this one's notorious for going. Peel that back, you can see. So this is the boot. So the area, this is pretty notorious for rust as well, particularly the battery box. If you can, take the battery out and have a look on inside there, because I'll show you underneath in a minute, and this in the back here. Just check the boot floor. I've had to do many patch repairs on the boots before, but this one, like I say, absolutely solid. This is an absolute peach, this one. I know it's got the wrong seal on the boot there. I've got the new one for change that. I'll show you it. I'll show you underneath. So these, the rear valance, they can go. Do you want to have a poke around there? This is the battery box I was just talking about. Because it's exposed, all the road grime and crap used to build upon this face and rot it through. Say so this is a solid battery box. You want to play, pay close attention to your subframes as well. This one, <laughs> honestly, I've never seen a bloody rear subframe on a mini like this. Not for one that runs on the road. And you can see, it's absolutely lovely this one you want to pay close attention to your front scuttle panel as well around here it can bubble this is just where I've done a bit of filling it's not rust the bonnet lifted up the catch let go and chipped that and dented that side unfortunately but you want to pay close attention around here they can start going a pillar here, they can build up, all the ground can build up at the back here, and these can end up going. You want to check there, especially down in this section. And you 
also want to check your tie rod ends, your bushes, everything under there. Have a good look around, check for any rust, your suspension towers. Mini, this, these, the mini suspension runs a rubber cone. This has got high lows so you can adjust the height. They did have hydroelastic on some years, but that become troublesome. And they ended up removing, swapping that back out to the, the cone suspension. Don't worry too much about oil leaks. You will get them. The tolerances aren't great on the motors and they will, they do leak, but you don't obviously want anything excessive. This doesn't actually leak. There's a few drops there, but it doesn't actually leak in the garage. And they're quite harsh on your wheel bearings and your ball joints. If you can, if you've got the time to just lift her up and give her all that a wiggle, then I'd recommend that as well. Okay, guys. So let's talk about engines. Pretty robust little buggers they are. Um, the gearbox and the engine share the same oil, so you've got to be on top of your oil changes anywhere in your gearbox or anything like that can obviously buggy your bearings up they came in 850 cc 998 this is a 1098 and then the 1275s there was a few variants in between like a 997 cooper s and stuff like that um the clubmans are seen pretty popular over here in um australia i believe because I did that they like the squared front end for cooling because it's so hot over here. I'd only ever had round noses but always wanted a Clubman and really struggled to find them in the UK. Um, but yeah, they seem to be really common over here, that's why I loved it, so I got one of these. So this is a 1098, it has been rebuilt, it's been bored out plus 60 thou. Um, it's just running the standard HS4 carburetor, it's got a filter on it. I think it's got like a little mild cam in it because it, it idles a bit rough at the bottom end, it's a bit lumpy. Um, I, uh, I had, didn't have it that long and the egg gasket went on me, going up a hill, just popped. Changed the egg gasket, reseated the valves, lapped them in, um, and basically cleaned everything up and it's been running mint ever since. The valve stem seals are quite notorious for leaking and then you get a bit of smoke on startup and whatnot. Um, I've converted this from the points electron, uh, the points distributor to a fully electronic distributor so no no gap in a point or anything like that which it had when I first got it which was a bit of a pain. Um, upgraded to the aluminium radiator um, just purely because the old one the old one was fine but I just I've always ran these on my minis in the UK and they did really well so I've, I've chucked one on here and it's been great. Um, you want to watch for rust around here especially your, your suspension turret towers at the top I'll just give you show you through there so this is the this is the power plant you want to watch around here for rust this is your top suspension turrets and at the back along this squattle like I say this is a 1098 I previously uh, previously had 998s and um, 1275 turbo the the 1275 i had prior to the turbo as well that was bored out to 1380 which is like the maximum you can go with these blocks so she's pretty standard pretty short diff doesn't not wouldn't be very good on the freeway or anything i'll just fire up show you how she starts and give her a few revs guys so plans for the mini while I was looking at selling it um, a lot of people interested but I'd, to be honest I'd never really wanted to sell it um, it took me so long to find one and uh, I have all, all the ones I had in the UK that I let go I always regretted so I really really sort of don't want to let this go but she's so original 
the things I like doing with minis is modifying them and um, I almost can't bring myself to just strip this thing down and turn it into some sort of rally mini which is really ultimately what I'd like go with a full straight cut drop gears turbo um, 1098 or even 998 um, but so I've got two other the, the the compression on this engine is okay it's not high but it's 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 average it's not bad um, so we probably could do a bit of a freshen up I've got um, another second hand 998 motor which is completely standard board, it's not been touched. And then I've also got a second 1098cc motor and gearbox. Um, and two new cylinder heads as well. Well, not new, but old second hand ones. Um, I even thought about pulling this one out, rebuilding this one as standard, taking one of the 998s or the 1098s and turbo in it. Um, I really, because the turbo I had, I really enjoyed that one. That was great fun. So that's where I was thinking of going with it. Maybe respraying it, um, black out the chrome, change the standard headlights for the LED ones. But I'd still keep all the original parts and everything. Um, so I was thinking, yeah, just upgrading it, freshening it. A few hints and tips on what to look out for on the Classic Mini if you've been going to purchase from one. Mainly just focus on rust. Don't worry too much about the engine. They're pretty robust little buggers and um, there's plenty of kits available um, and parts to rebuild them um, but yeah one of the major things you don't want to have is rust throughout it and um, like i say i'll show you, show you through this one um, which is really good all right guys thanks for watching hope you enjoyed this video just a little bit about the classic mini and uh, don't forget like share subscribe all that goodness really helps us out cheers guys